All right, she's a columnist by day, gun owner by night. And Emily Miller there shooting in the day wants to set the record straight about assault weapons before the White House has this big meeting on gun violence, and that'll be later today. So here she is, Washington Times columnist Emily Miller. Emily, how do you feel first off about the big push to get assault weapons, so-called assault weapons, off the streets, like the like which passed in 1994? Well, it's obviously a big push by President Obama, and now Dianne Feinstein has finally introduced her legislation in the Senate last week. And really, it's just an end run to get all guns. We had the so-called assault weapons ban in effect from 1994 to 2004, and as you know, crime did not decrease at all. So it was not effective. It didn't do anything. And since right. then, actually, crime ownership has gone up and violent crime has gone down 17%. So wow. it had the opposite effects. Right. Emily, I want you to hear, uh, for those who didn't see, Senator Feinstein last week. Listen. Do you realize we have 150,000 plus gang members in, in this uh, nation? When they go up against the police, it's generally an AK 47. Uh, you realize that police have had to break into gun stores uh, to get weapons that would be stronger than the adversary they had. Uh, you realize that one out of every five law enforcement officers that's killed is killed with an assault weapons. Do you need assault weapons? These are weapons that are made to kill large numbers of people in close combat. Emily, your answer? Well, I'll say the world, according to Dianne Feinstein, is very different than reality. It is absolutely not true that people are walking down the streets carrying AK-47s. If someone saw one, I shot one last week at Sharpshooters Range in Virginia. It's a wooden rifle. I think if so many gang members are walking down the street with a large wooden rifle, people would run in the other direction. They're also semi-automatics. They just sound scary, and that's why she deliberately uses that phrase. But... And, and it's absolutely not true whatsoever that most one-fifth of law enforcement are killed by these so-called assault weapons. Diane, so Diane Feinstein said herself last week that her, by her numbers, which are always exaggerated, there are 38 people killed a year with these so-called assault weapons, which, by the way, are semi-automatic rifles with certain cosmetic appearances. So right. 38 a year, it's really not a massive public health scare. Right. The other thing is, I thought it was very significant, she says gang members are using these. So now if they're illegal, I'm sure that gang members will give them up because they do not want to break the law. <laughs> uh, number two, I thought it was fascinating to see the police, the chief of uh, police here in New York City say, yeah, if you want to take assault weapons, that's one thing, but our problem is handguns. Well, that's true. I mean, if you're going to be truthful about it, the, the bigger issue is handguns, and that's, I'm just talking about street violence, because you can hide them easily, and that's it's just quite simply different than rifles. But that's why what they're doing is they're going after these big black guns because the public looks at them and are afraid because they think they're automatic guns. They think right. they're what the military uses. So it's an easy way to sort of build public gotcha. support, but the reality is it's the handguns that are more dangerous. Gotcha. Uh, Emily Miller doesn't just write about it. She takes action. She she shoots and finds out for herself. Emily Miller, thanks so much. We're going to need you again because the debate me. is just beginning. It's going to be a long year. Yeah.